How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be going over uh, Microsoft Office on the iPad and iPad Mini. And this is going to be an update. So we did a video on this a long time ago and now some things have changed. So now you can actually get the full um, and the legit uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint for the iPad. Uh, so I kind of want to walk you through how it works, how to get it, and how to uh, make it work. So the first thing you wanna do, obviously I have them lined up right here, but they're not gonna come on your iPad. You're gonna have to download them each individually. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to your app store. And conveniently, we have it pulled up already. So the way you're gonna pull it up is you're just gonna go to the search and type in Microsoft Office. And these three will come up. And they're gonna be free downloads. So you're gonna download them one by one right here, here, and here. And you also have uh, OneNote right here as well for those who use that. And once they uh, download, you'll have them on your iPad. Now, just because the app is free doesn't mean the program is free. Obviously, you know on a computer, you do have to pay for the software. So I kinda wanna walk you through how exactly that process works and how you pay for it now. So I'm gonna go to the internet. So, uh, to use these apps, you're gonna have to purchase a subscription from Microsoft. So, you're gonna get what's called an Office 360 subscription. And there's a couple of different ways you can do it. And I believe these are sale prices, these are not the normal prices, so keep in mind, it's gonna vary depending on what week you do it and where you go to buy it. So, you would get an Office 360 subscription. Now, for 69, you can get the single user, which means that it's only good for one device. Or for $30 more, you can get the Office 360 Home, and it's good for five devices. So that's, uh, you can put it on a PC, Mac, on an iPad. You can also put it on an Android device, or you can put it on your phone. And again, this is basically, you're getting the full version of this software. Okay, so, this depends on how many people you want to share it with. Now, this is a one-year subscription, okay? So in a year, it's gonna um, expire, and you're gonna have to purchase it again. Now, there is another way to get it, and the other way is to go through Microsoft, excuse me, it's uh, www.office.com, and you can actually pay a monthly subscription of $9.99. So basically, you're either paying for the whole year or you're paying monthly, so right now I pay $9 a month to have the subscription. And so when you have it, once we go to the apps, the first thing it will ask you is to sign in. So I'm gonna go to Word, and it doesn't like my stylus, so I'm just gonna tap it with my finger. I'm gonna go old school, you know, back in the day when you know we didn't have these fancy pens, you know. So it's gonna break down the process. Your Office 360 subscription covers multiple computers and devices, including your iPad. Your documents are always in sync and accessible virtually anywhere. Changes are saved automatically, so that's a great new feature. It's gonna auto-save. You can turn that off, but it will be set to auto-save for you. And it will allow you to work together so multiple people can be on the same document making changes, which is definitely a new feature that they took from um, Google Docs. And finally, um, we have to sign in to our Office account. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. You're gonna click sign in. Or if you don't have an account, you can click create an account and then it'll walk you through that process as well. So first you'll put in your email. And don't worry, you guys won't see this. Okay, once you put your email in, you will have to then put in your password and make sure you do have an internet connection as well. All right, so our password is entered. We're gonna hit go. And then it will sign us in. It's gonna activate the device. So you're only gonna have to sign in one time. It's not gonna ask you to do this multiple times. Uh, and then we're gonna click start using Word. And here we go, so we have all the templates you would normally find in Word are gonna be available. I'm just gonna to go to uh, blank, new, new document. 
and here's our options right up here and obviously it is sort of tweaked uh, so this is like a tablet version of it but you still have access to all the normal controls you would have from the computer so this is how you get Microsoft Office on your iPad you're gonna download the apps for free you will purchase an Office 360 subscription you'll make the choice if you're gonna do a month-to-month -month subscription or if you're gonna pay for the year uh, at one time which is a little bit cheaper all right hope you guys did find this helpful you're gonna follow the same process so uh, actually before I close out just to show you if we go to Excel let's see if it'll already have a signed in or we'll have to sign in I'll just double check just so we'll alleviate those questions yep so you're gonna have to oh we just go ahead and hit continue and it's gonna read that you're signed in so we don't have to sign in when you go to Excel and PowerPoint so it'll automatically sync with those three um, and that's it guys so hope you found this helpful make sure you like favor and share the video if you did find it helpful Microsoft Office is officially on the iPad and it's awesome because now you can have that same functionality from your tablet you guys take care and thanks for watching have a good one